Hey guys, what's up, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another episode of Planet Zoo. Um, it has been a while. Like I said, this game kind of just my comfort game. Whenever I'm feeling in the mood to play a chill game, I go to this one. So today I realized, which I didn't even hear about this, the a new pack came out. And honestly, I can't even remember the last pack that I played, like or the last pack pack that came out like i know i don't think i've played i have all the packs because i buy them regardless of if i'm playing or not um i think i know almost all of these yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe not the europe and either north i think south america maybe or north america and then whatever wetlands so new pack came out um, so we are going to be, I'm really excited actually for the wetlands pack. I'm going to be doing that, of course, but as you know, we are just starting this zoo. We only have 14,000 right now. Last episode, we finished the beavers, but I don't recall if I said this last episode or not, but I'm going to change the beavers thing. And that's what we're going to do today. Um, just because we don't have that much money. I'm going to make it to where they come down. And then this is going to be a one-way glass enclosure kind of thing. And hopefully it'll give them a better view. I realize I made the beavers thing a little bit too big. Uh, but what are you going to do, right? Um, yeah, it is what it is. So I'm going to do that today. And then maybe some lighting along the path. And then we're going to see where we're at. So that is the plan for the day. Um, hopefully next time or maybe probably next time we're going to do a new animal i'm not sure which one i want to do we're doing we're are going to do another north america one so i'm just kind of trying to think which one i want to do mm, maybe the arctic fox no probably not i'm probably going to do like a smaller one Maybe. I don't know. Okay, they're, they're so cute. Um, we obviously did the moose and the beaver. Maybe the fox. What else came out in the North America pack? Oh, the, the beaver, the moose, the sea lion, a cougar, alligator, black-tailed prairie dog. Okay, these annoying people are... Oh, I said the prairie dog maybe, right? American bullfrog. Maybe we'll do the prairie dog. The next um, one we're going to do is over here. Because it's so, like, naked over here. And then, obviously, this looks like a giant mess. I am going to cover this up eventually. I'm just kind of waiting to get more money. I'm going to put, like, something here. Probably a bunch of rocks or something. Or trees and something. And then, uh, you know, I'll, f I'll figure it out. But, yeah. Let's go ahead without further ado and um, fix our beaver enclosure up a little bit.
Alrighty guys, so I finished finally the um, beaver habitat. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a hundred, not the habitat itself, but anyway, I finished the guest viewing area. Here is what we have for right now for this area. Again, I put, I want to add more foliage, um, but we're trying to be careful of our money because we do want to build a new habitat. So if you come down here, um, this stuff, it's a little rough. It's, it's a little rough, but you know what? I don't, I don't really care. Come down here. I got a nice large viewing area. The beavers are shy. So this is one way glass. This way people could be, um, up close with them. We have like them, uh, little beds right here so they could sleep here if they want. I do want to get more beavers in here. I think I only have three right now. Um, so I'm going to try and get some more because I think there could be a few, quite a few in here. Oh, two to eight, up to eight males, up to eight females. So, um, they're monogamous too. So there's two males in here and one female, I believe. So I do want to get some more, but I do think that they are kind of hard to come by. Maybe, maybe not. Um, oh, Okay, we'll buy you. Oh. See, these are 8,000. Like, y'all are ripping me off here. Um. Yeah, see, now the only ones that are left are 8,000. And I don't really want to spend 8,000. I only have 10,000, so. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure everything's good, though, really quick. Because they are in a box right now. Uh, let's see, is everything okay? Uh, how do you do it again? Uh, oh, here. I was like, wait, what am I doing? Alright, everything looks good. They can't get out anywhere, supposedly. Supposedly, they can't get out anywhere. Um, staff can get everywhere. Yeah, for the most part. Shelter, we got some shelter over here and over there. Great. And yeah, the habitat is cleanly. Cleanly. Anyway, so let's just make sure all this stuff's good. I think we're good. Look at how much extra land they have. Way more than they need, but... Yeah, they could do with a lot more coverage. I plan on putting a lot more in here. But again, I'm being um, careful with money. So for right now, they're happy. I don't know what you guys are looking at from over here. Oh, oh why aren't people going down? What? People can't get down? No, they can Huh? She just got down. Oh, now they're going down. Why were they just doing that? Should be fine, right? Yeah, everyone's fine. Okay, maybe it was just a glitch for a minute. Anyway, um... Get me out of here. Let's see what they have to say. But yeah, so I got this nice big area. I realized that I have two different woods here. And the reason I did that was just because I kind of want it to look more rugged. I don't want it to look like completely like perfect and put together. I kind of, I felt like if I had like all of this wood around, it would look too perfect. This wood itself already looks too perfect, but I just left it as is, um, I don't want it to all blend seamlessly. How are the views now? The views should be good. All right, stop complaining. Let me click these guys, please. Okay, so yeah, because he's literally sleeping right here, so the views are a lot better. They were complaining about the views last time, so this is a lot better. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, Obviously, an issue with this is 
this is where this path will have to end. If I plan on doing anything else, it'll have to go around this way. Which, whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> Regardless, we plan on going out this way now. So maybe we could wrap around even this way too. So that is what we have so far. Let me know what you guys think of the new habitat. Um, yeah, look how empty this is. We definitely have to put something here. We'll do that next episode. Also, this episode, I do want to do some lighting on the path. Uh, just because it, get really, it gets really dark at night. Um, I always do the same lighting. I always do... Um, what are they? I always do these. They just work the best, in my opinion. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I felt like I did this already, but I guess I didn't. We have a good amount of money. Um, we didn't spend that much money, surprisingly. Doing the beaver. Updating the beaver habitat. So we got some money to spend. this put some lights in here of course i do still need to add lights in the beaver habitat but that kind of is something i plan on doing um when i'm actually done with it it's not done yet by any means so i think this can go anyway to be honest yeah it's not done at all so i still want to put all the trees and stuff we got some picnic benches in here people are having a good time what an amazing place. Yeah, let me also grab... I wonder if I could grab one of these speakers. Copy it and put it over here. Is that allowed? Yeah, go over there. That's fine. But we need to make it smaller. Come on. Let me click it. Oh, my God. I'm gonna redo that. Why is it, uh, it's not overlapping, is it? Hmm, I don't think it lets you. Whatever. Are these guys hot? Everybody's very happy with the new view. Too small. That's because it is. Um, so. Time's up. Gotta go. The view from the moose is not good at all. Excuse you. Who does this? I need to know. There's a garbage right there. Is that garbage not close enough? How many uh, janitors do we have? Thomas, bro, I need you to come here. I need you to clean this up. These people are slobs. Oh my god, slobs. There's garbages right there. You guys are so such slobs. Why do people do that? Oh my god, they're stuck. Somebody help them. They're stuck. They're spinning in circles. Must have been really full. What does that mean? What does it mean it's really full? Um, interesting thing to say. Y'all better throw that in the garbage. Alright, there's a lot of people coming down here. There's a garbage right there. There's a garbage right there. Where are you guys going? Oh, uh, they're sitting back down. She put her garbage in her pocket. I want to see what they're going to do with this garbage. I'm also kind of waiting for it to get dark so I could see what people think. 
or not what people think, but move it or lose it, people. Put that there. Everybody better start donating. All right, 120, not bad. What about this one? 140. Beefers are happy. Anyway, let's go and add uh, this guy here to quarantine. Or this girl. Yep, I know that we have no security guard, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We also have to update our work zone. this stuff is now in here all right good so now that the now that it's dark we can add some more lights where we feel they are needed I feel like I did this already but I guess I didn't so a little bit dark over here let me turn my light off so I can actually These uh, lights are also so minimum, minimal, not minimum, minimal. So, you know, they don't bother the animals, which is ultimately what we want. Um, people are here to see them. And we want to respect their needs or whatever you want to call it. All right. Everything looks pretty good. It's a little dark in here, but honestly, people can get over it. Drink. Is this. Mm. See, I don't know. The people that are saying that the view from the moose is bad are clearly blind because if you come. He's standing right here. I mean, I don't know how much better it could get, to be quite honest with you. Also, um, I like to put these here as well. I like to put these at like all of them just because people should be quiet. Like you should not be yelling at them or anything of the sort. So please don't do that. I should also move a heat, put another heater right here. A lot of people stand there. All right, here we go. It's okay if they walk through like a little bit of a, whatever. all in here is nice and warm. Very good. It's also warm right here, though, too. I wonder if it's too warm. Not enough grass and soil. Really? Interesting. So, he wants more short grass. Is there not short grass? Like, I don't know. I feel like there, we do have short grass and soil. It's hard to see when it's dark. It's not going up at all. I wonder if it's just that one. Where are these beavers? It does say that. What do we have a lot of? Snow? Oh, is it because it's too cold? What temperature do they like? They don't mind that temperature. Mm. 
then there should be plenty of grass here. I mean, the thing, the problem is, is there is a lot of snow when it snows, you know. See, now it's fine. Okay, so it's just when it snows. And we don't really need this. Anyway, I don't know. Oh my god, people are so annoying. Should I hire another caretaker? I guess. Quarantine passed, ready to leave. Oh. Arizona is ready to go into her new home. Go ahead and add her in there, please and thanks. It's going to be quite the walk for you. What is that? Oh, it's a... It's a moose. How many are in here? Four. It always says that there's not enough feeders. That has to be like a glitch. Right? Because there's no way that that's not enough. Too much rock. Too much rock, so let's add some long grass. I remember that's why. It looks so much better when you don't have all grass on it, though. Oh, the North American beavers are mating. Oh my god, they're so cute. Is she pregnant? No, but she's hungry. Wait, where are their feeders at? Oh, they do have some feeders. Keep her. Get in here and feed them, please. They're hungry. Hmm. Are we doing research on the, the beavers? We're not. Um. Okay, they're chopping up some food for the beavers. Some grass. Amazing. Alright, I think that this is where we could wrap up today's episode. Um, we did a few little detailing done. Um, so far, I think everything's pretty good. The moose habitat I so far pretty much like. I would pretty much consider it done. Um, I don't think there's really anything else that we, we need to do. Um, speaking of moose, though. Before we're done done. Nikedra here. She, we can release her out to the wild. Um, so, should we do that? How do we release in the wild? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Let's go ahead and release her to the wild. Um, the reason we're going to do this is... She can't mate with him. He can only mate with... Well, he can mate with multiple females, but obviously they're whatever. Her genetics are not that good. Um, if she had, like, all green, we'd probably consider trying to trade her to another zoo. But since she isn't, and they're not really endangered, so there's not really any reason for us to constantly have them traded into different zoos. Uh, we're going to really search for the wild. And, yeah. So there she is off into the wild. Sad, but it's what we're it's what we're here to do. So but anyway, so the moose habitat I feel like is pretty much done essentially. Um I really like how it came out. I think it looks good. Over here, um I don't need how this looks actually. It kind of looks interesting now that there's more trees. I would like to add some more foliage, maybe uh fix it up a little bit. And then over down here, the Beaver's habitat is not done as of yet. Um, still want to add a bunch more stuff in there. Much more foliage. 
So we're going to do that. They're so cute. Anyway, but next time we are going to do a new habitat. Um, if you guys have a preference or if you don't, whatever, or if you want to see a certain animal from the North America pack um, or from North America in general, that kind of seemed to go together with the moose and the beaver. Let me know down in the comments. Um, they are going to go right here. Preferably going to do um, one of the one of the species that don't really have too much terrain climbing, considering this area is flat and terror building terrain and whatever not uh, or doing terrain and whatever costs lots of money. So we're not going to be doing that much of mountain building. So. I don't recall what our what our options were but well i guess well, i'll tell you what we're not gonna do the alligator we're not gonna do i'm preferably gonna do the stuff specifically from the north america pack so i was thinking the prairie dog because i think they do have the prairie dogs do have like a little bit of like maybe like a little few little hills here and there but they're probably small I'm thinking what we could do is like a couple um, underground little burrows because they prairie dogs like to do, go underground. Maybe we'll do like little hills, like very, very tiny hills that have like a path going through for them to run through, go under, all that stuff. And I feel like it'd actually be perfect for if we do that in like a flat land or maybe not. Um, the only other option, we're not doing the jaguar. Wait, is it jaguar Jaguar is North America. No, it's South America. Um, so, yeah, it's probably going to be the prairie dogs. But let me know if you guys feel differently. Maybe the Arctic fox. But let me know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.